yeah, this is an auto channel. I get it. It's all car stuff. But sometimes, you know, you got to get out of your comfort zone a little bit. And one of the things that uh, I've found is I sure like to eat when I'm working on cars. I sure like to have a full belly if I'm out racing. Stuff like that. So this video goes over a couple of things. Boiling eggs and frying eggs. So in the back, you can see I've got some eggs that are boiling. Uh, and that water has just come to a boil. And I am at altitude here. So I'm going to boil these eggs for about 13 minutes. Uh, our temperature at altitude, let's make this auto, right? Okay, you can see that where I'm at right now, uh, I've got water boiling at about 180 degrees. That doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? So maybe there's something wrong with my uh, temperature gun. Maybe it's accurate. But the point is, is that water does not boil at the same temperature at altitude as it does at sea level. And so my higher altitude changes things for me kind of the same way it does in an engine. I got an engine at altitude versus an engine at sea level. Well, I got a lot less air density up here. So since I have a lot less air density, uh, my fuel mixture needs to be different at altitude. Uh, my engine compression readings are going to be different. My vacuum readings are going to be different. Anything that relies on oxygen and air density is going to be different at 5,400 feet versus zero feet sea level. Now, I'm going to do up these uh, eggs here. I'm going to fry up a couple of them. And kind of like working on cars, maybe one of the first things I want to do is get all my stuff together before I actually start the job. So I got a, a little bit of butter, salt, pepper, a couple eggs, and a uh, box of... Uh, suspension components and I'm resting my camera on because I don't have a good tripod. So, you know, a box of suspension components can come in handy in ways you never thought. I just turned this on and this burner right here, right now, I've got, oh, I don't know, what, 80 some odd degrees Celsius, right? So let's go Fahrenheit. I've got 180 degrees there. Oh, wait a minute. What have I got over here? I got 213 degrees, 217, 215, something like that on that boiling. So dang, you know, it's not only that you're going to have different temperatures and different boiling at altitude, but you got to make sure your units are right. So now I'm in Fahrenheit, not Celsius. Let's see what I got on this. And right there, boy, that's showing me a lot of heat, about 330 degrees. Okay, so that's actually a pretty good temperature for what I want to do, boiling eggs might be a little high so i just turn that down slightly and i'm going to take me some butter and i'm going to take a little bit of butter and i'm just going to put it in that pan and the whole point behind the butter is to help lubricate the uh, pan so my eggs don't stick plus it'll give me a little bit of flavor if you're not a butter person don't like it you can use a cooking oil or something like that now i want to make sure i don't get too hot because if I do get too hot, then I'll burn my butter. And you can actually kind of see right there, see how the butter is actually brown? Well, that means I screwed that up. That's too hot. So what I'm going to do is wipe that out, turn the temperature down. And you can see by that color there that that's too warm, okay? So, <clears throat> that brings us to another automotive thing, right? Temperature on something ain't right, then, you know, things aren't going to come out the way you want them to. So, if your engine's running too hot or, you know, whatever, then the dang thing might overheat on you. Uh, maybe you've got uh, your air conditioning isn't the right temperature, so it's not throwing ice balls at you anymore. So, you're sweating a little more than you want to be. Um uh, so temperature is a big deal when we're talking about cars. Okay, now I'm going to crack an egg into this. And I want to be firm when I crack that egg. I don't want to beat it, but by the same token, I would like to make sure that I'm firm and I crack the egg shell pretty easy, pretty smooth. It's kind of like, you know, loving on a piece of metal real light with a hammer. you got to be just right. Okay, 
a little salt, a little pepper. I wanted to make sure that I don't put too much salt, too much pepper in there, because if I do, well, especially on the salt side, not going to taste very good. So where does that come in on automotive type stuff? Well, honestly, you know, if I've got too much fuel in my engine and I'm too rich, well, I could actually reduce power output. Uh, if I've got too much air in the fuel mixture, then I can reduce power output. So having everything in just the right amount is really important. Even in cars, we want just the right amount. So here, my seasonings are supposed to be in the right amount. In a car, it's supposed to be in the right amount. Now in a car, we call that stoichiometric, which means that whatever's going in is being used. So if I have a chemically ideal uh, reaction in a stoichiometric reaction. Now, I'm flipping these eggs. I'm trying. Woo, okay, there we go. Eggs are flipped over, and they're just about ready to be pulled off of that heat, slapped onto a plate, and eaten. And that's where all of the automotive type stuff comes to an end, I guess. I'm going to put these eggs in my belly so I got some fuel to get through the day. Same way we're going to put electricity in an electric motor, a gasoline into a gas engine to make our day go smooth. Y'all have a good day and uh, try cooking some eggs.